This is Green Energy News. I'm your host, Mr. Energy Czar. We're covering electric cars, renewable energy, the environment, peak oil, and everything in between. Tesla's Elon Musk has bought the infamous James Bond Lotus submarine. He plans to retrofit it with an electric motor and battery pack to make it work. The car turned submarine was in the film The Spy Who Loved Me. The Kia Soul will have an all-electric version for sale. It is rumored to have an 85-mile electric range. This will be the first electric car from Korea to be sold in the States. It should go on sale sometime in 2014. Killer smog has caused a major Chinese city to shut down. Residents reported having trouble walking and driving because they couldn't see what was in front of them. Schools had to close and use smog days. Air quality readings above 300 are considered hazardous. Readings of 1,000 were reached. It's unclear of whether the machines could go higher than that. Two-thirds of China's total energy use comes from coal. Dirty, expensive, fossil fuel coal plants continue to close in the States. Two coal plants in Pennsylvania have recently closed for good. The cost to have the plants stop spewing mercury into the air would make it non-competitive to alternative power sources. As I've said before, it's difficult to compete with free energy sources like the sun and wind. Mining and transporting an energy source for a coal plant isn't free. Fossil fuel power plants continue to close in Europe. One of Europe's largest utilities is planning to transform itself from a traditional electricity provider to a renewable energy service provider. They said solar power growth in Germany has caused power prices to drop too low for traditional power companies to compete. The new philosophy is either adapt or wither away and die. New York will have a strategic gasoline reserve of 3 million gallons. Shortages, like those after Hurricane Sandy, expose just how oil-dependent society really is. Right after Sandy, people were buying gas for $50 a gallon through people on Craigslist. People did anything to avoid the mile-long gas lines. That's it for this week's edition of Peak Oil News. Please subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, and go to MrEngesR.com. Thank you.